what is going on everyone retired crypto here and today we're going to talk a little bit about trump and bitcoin specifically on these two topics uh we're going to come back to coin market cap but um yeah i heard the media just bring this up way too many times and i had to look into it via gematria calculator but this was brought up trump is noah according to ben shapiro uh, made to save this generation I, I didn't know we needed saving but um apparently he does maybe some people do i don't know uh, my nose is in the charts in crypto and stocks just all day long and that's kind of like the media i follow but with a lot of you know um numbers conspiracies politics stocks and crypto they really just some days they just merge and they all affect or effect one another so it's really hard to not look into it it really is and um another thing that the media just would not stop um saying is uh what trump said about himself i am the chosen one well yeah whether you're elected or selected you you're there you're you were chosen and not trying to get into any conspiracies i'm gonna try i try to be neutral because what i want to do is really show a correlation between trump and this bull run and how this and how and why this bull run is probably going to be the largest bull run in history and not every bull run after 2024 2025 will never be the same although i will be there and we will all benefit yes just make sure you take your profits a profit is a profit it is better to huh that's weird i just had epiphany that taking profit to earn and a prophet like a prophetic person almost yeah it's like the same word interesting now getting into gematria sorry i was kind of reading through it excitedly like whoa like this popped up in my head and i had to go look into it so i first put in trump is noah and um you know we have the jewish gematria then the english gematria and you know as far as gematria goes there is always a good side and an evil side like as above so below and like i said you know numbers conspiracies non-conspiracies politics they really all affect the markets as a whole and especially U.S., like U.S., United States really has an impact on other global markets being the largest economy in the world. And so let's look at the results. Trump is Noah. Yes, he is God. Blasphemy. Jo All right. Um, God of the Illuminati. Okay, okay, okay. A little more accurate. Joke, joke, joke. Grayson, like that ETF. Um, what else do we have here? Three and three eighths. Interesting. Green passport. Conquerors. Yo. Cannot even say that. Forex or clue forex or gold is truth interesting there since gold is dropping and gold dropping is really it's really confidence in the american economy when gold when the price of gold goes up it's less confidence in the american economy and the dollar so gold is really a hedge it's really a hedge against the american economy but gold is coming down silver is coming down not that it will not be more valuable than it is in the future 
Admiral Corporation. Interesting. Arrest records. You know, PPP stuff? PPP loan abusers? Arrest records? I don't know. We'll see what happens there. The Diddy, you know, Epstein's list. There's a rumor that Epstein's list is out. I know Trump um, and his team, they're really um, catering to a lot of conspiracy theory. I mean, they're not, I guess, if you're not into like deep, if you don't deep go into rabbit holes, I'm trying to be really careful because YouTube has given me strikes on just, you know, talking about politics, about Trump for crying out loud. So I'm just trying to be so neutral. But um, yeah, if you don't go into, if you don't do a deep dive into rabbit holes of certain topics, um, I guess it is conspiracy to you, but um, I know Trump and his team, uh, they're really looking into, you know, ending all this human trafficking, the trafficking of children, trafficking of adults, and the drug smuggling. They're really, they're really going to war on this head on. And yeah, if you live, especially in a big city, um, I grew up in California and just driving through San Diego, downtown San Diego, um, especially by the the Petco Park Stadium there, the Padres, where the Padres play, baseball team. If you don't know who the San Diego Padres are, that one team only San Diego knows about. But um, yeah, out in that area, it's really bad. It's really bad. And, um, you know, I'm not going to get into politics, but if they stop the drugs there's nothing for the addicts to really take and it would they would be forced to to clean themselves up which is and probably be a lot more beneficial to our society but that's just all speculation starlink mission so that has a lot that's elon musk Elon Musk, Nebuchadnezzar, with a weird spelling. Dra this is the year of the dragon, 2024. Yes, it is. It is a year of the dragon. Ethiopian Neanderthals. Zergling. If you play any StarCraft, you know what that is. Bed, Bath, and Beyond. Didn't they file bankruptcy this year? The Cabal's time be shortened. I am Mary Magdalene. God extending a grace. Now let's go to the English. Line of Israel. I am the chosen one. I am the angel of death. The Antichrist. Now we're getting into some uh, truther stuff here. Q, death to Israel. Interesting. Ritual sacrifice. Oh, that's... That's a... Uh, Bohemian Grove kind of stuff right there. The second coming. Lil Uzi Vert. Oh, well, we know. We definitely know who his god is, right? The 144. The 144. That gave me goosebumps right there. The 144 witnesses. Freddie Mercury. Interesting. Queen of Hearts. Interesting. Transparency. This is not a dream. Comet Ping Pong. They they even popped up on the news. This whole PizzaGate <laughs> coming right back to life. And I think that has a lot to do with Diddy and all the tunnels underneath his homes. And I think they were finding like children's toys in there, beds. Absolutely creepy. The ripple effect. <clears throat> XRP. <clears throat> it's happening. Restoration. December thirteenth. Ripple effect, December 13th. We're going to have to put that day on our calendars there because if that is, and that's what I'm saying, like a lot of these elites really talk in code. You know, there's no coincidence that all these senators and congressmen who make a government salary of 160000 a year are all of a sudden worth millions of dollars. There's no way. You know, there's some hints given out there, I mean, to prevent insider trading, which happens. We all know it happens. 
July 19th, December 13th. Is this when Bitcoin's going to pump? When XRP is going to pump? Is this the start of altcoin season, July 19th? Crystal Ball, Balenciaga. Even they came up on the news for just, I don't know, something with their product not doing so. I don't know. Bad ingredients, bad. I don't know. Urgent message, plot twist. End of this game. Behold the Lamb of God. Rigged and stolen. Name 190. Interesting. Home sweet home. Against the wind. This is Yahweh. False flag events. Oh, yeah. We all know about false flag events. Yep. Like the dew. Like the drink Mountain Dew. We know. We know. November 2nd. Interesting. It's about time. It's about time Bitcoin pumped. My goodness. An evil spirit. Crystal healing. I am the prophet. Majestic beauty. Interesting. I am the Alpha and the Omega. All very interesting. Now, to get into Bitcoin, um, you know, history, when it comes to just our everyday life, uh, when it comes to the markets, when it comes to housing, stocks, crypto, uh, bull run, bear runs, um, consolidation periods, everything is cyclical. Everything repeats itself. History repeats itself. World War One, World War Two. It just everything repeats itself. And Bitcoin is no stranger to that cycle. Um, 2016, 52 days. 2020, 56 days. 2024, 58 days. And this flag is the election. So 52, 52 days after the election runs up, 56 days after the election on 2020, and, you know, we're, what, a week into the election? So we have, I mean, 52, 56, that should probably be 60 if we're really counting patterns here, but just remember history does repeat itself and bitcoin is very cyclical and here's another uh chart and um i'm i'm planning on selling my bitcoin uh my target price is really like around 120 um if it does hit a hundred thousand and come back down to 90 i might sell until the charts look decent I don't know. I really have to be careful because this this is not a regular bull cycle. I this is like a mega a meg this is, will be a mega bull cycle. Um and there will never Bitcoin's bull runs will never look the same after 2024 and 2025. It will never be the same because here's just one of a hundred examples. Trump is planning to make Bitcoin a strategic reserve. Okay, that the whole, I'm sorry to say this for uh, you know the non-Americans, but the world follows America. You know, uh, it really does, especially financially. I mean, the world buys America's debts to keep it afloat. I mean, so if Trump signs a bill into law to make bitcoin a strategic reserve the world will follow suit I, I mean just that news alone will put there is no cap to bitcoin at that point i mean i think conservatively you can see bitcoin at maybe five hundred thousand dollars if and trump is known to keep his promises um there may be a few things added to the bill like we've seen in the past but um yeah i mean that's one example another example is the having every four years bitcoin becomes more scarce and if the world is trying to buy up all the bitcoin there's going to be a period in time where exchanges just are waiting for 
Bitcoin miners to sell their Bitcoin so that they can resell it to nation states. I mean, Bitcoin is a great retirement. 20 years from now, it's guaranteed to make a lot of money. It's it's every four years it goes through a halving. It's it's a hyper deflationary. It's an incredible, incredible commodity. And I hope they keep it as such. Um, Bitcoin was never, in my opinion, humble, humble, humble opinion. Not financial advice. My God, I have to say that to avoid lawsuits. Welcome to America, folks. Um, but in my humble opinion, uh, Bitcoin is a commodity and it should stay that way. It's not meant to be a payments type of system. There are thousands of crypto cryptocurrencies out there, the altcoins that are trying to be payments. Well, that's fine. But Bitcoin is trying to be digital gold. Let's keep it that way. And at any time, the developers could have uh, reprogrammed Bitcoin to work faster, um, smoother, and less gas fees. Thus, if you look into the block war, that's what that was all about. But if they were to make any changes to Bitcoin's block size, they probably could have destroyed Bitcoin's value. It may have not been, we may never look at Bitcoin, it just wouldn't be the same. It wouldn't be as valuable as it is now. It's not meant to replace dollars, euros. It's not meant to be a payment system stored value they have all well the ones that won the block size war they have all come to terms that it should stay a commodity because its value and how the value increases and how its rarity just intrigues investors there's no reason to change make any changes to it it is absolutely perfect the way it is but if you look at the charts, I mean, there's look at this pattern. 44 days, 152, 141, 158, 4, 5, 4, 5. And yeah, we're still very early on this Bitcoin pattern on this chart. Here, that's where we're at now after the halving. We're very early. And Bitcoin's cap, I mean... It's safe to say that 20 years from now, yeah, Bitcoin could easily be close to a million dollars, if not over. But if the United States, if Trump signs Bitcoin as a strategic reserve and signs that into law, I mean, the world will follow. The world will, countries, nation states will start buying up all the Bitcoin. We're going to see a gold rush. A digital gold rush. This is going to be incredible. And I know Russia, um, there was some a little bit of news that Russia is starting to mine Bitcoin. Or if not mine, but they're trying to get into it if they're not mining Bitcoin already. And it's very well known that China owns 55% of Bitcoin's hash rate. So what a lot of billionaires and elites really like to do is control. And control is owning majority assets. Because realistically, you control huge, huge market share. You control the price, the volatility, the volume. It's a lot of power. A lot of power. Um, but yeah, I would stay away from naysayers. Any Bitcoin naysayers, stay the heck away from them because I don't think they know what they're talking about when they say that Bitcoin cannot handle a price this high. Bitcoin, I mean, what are you talking about? Every having Bitcoin becomes 50% more valuable and Bitcoin has plenty more havings to go and and also, when will the altcoins start pumping? When will the altcoin season start? It starts when the Bitcoin dominance starts to come down and the altcoin prices start to come up. That's when we know 
this is Bitcoin's time to shine. I'm kind of, I'm just, I'm ignoring everything. Yeah, you got your pumps like Dogecoin, and that's because of Elon Musk. Come on, this guy has Dogecoin hinted all over his forehead. Coming up with a Department of Government Efficiency. Doge, come on. Dogecoin payments on his X platform? Come on. He's He has Dogecoin. He has a lot of it. And because blockchain is very public, I'm sure he has a secret wallet somewhere. We all know he's all into Dogecoin. There's no secret about it. Um, and yeah, I know um, Cardano pumped. Uh, 70 percent in the last week um and that's great i that's so wonderful for cardano and a lot of that has to do with their founder the founder of cardano really working with trump um, possibly with regulation and that's what we need we need crypto to have regulation that these companies like ripple would absolutely love to follow and work with not this the lawlessness of what the SEC has been doing. It's just been absolutely rude and disgusting. What uh, And we all know when Trump gets... It's happened the past two, three presidencies. New president comes in. The SEC chairman or leader steps out. So we can expect Gary Gensler to be either fired or he can resign. And he should. Um, he is a disgrace to any American that has lost money and or invested in crypto. He is a disgrace. He should have been the champion for the people and protected a lot of Americans' assets. Instead of not caring and they're just, you know, like XRP, just dropping so much to where investors are just it's not even investors i mean they're the first ones to find out but really retail investors the small guy you know wake up wakes up one morning and the value of their investment just drops almost 100 percent. it's crazy and no protection for the people and the government should be working for the people so gary gensler needs to go and uh for bitcoin don't listen to anybody. I mean, Bitcoin's a great retirement. If you have a long-term goal for crypto, fantastic. Bitcoin needs to be on that, in that portfolio, you know. Just my opinion, not financial advice. But if you all liked this video, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed my video today. Or tomorrow, or another day, it'll help me out. And um, I'll see you all on my next video. Thank you very much.